Hello, it's me, Daryl, Florida Catholic guy. Just wanted to give you a quick shot of a rainbow when it's out here. Nice. Plan on doing a proper video here. Some thunderheads. So yeah, we had a heck of a storm uh, this afternoon. I want to say around 2, 2.30, somewhere around there. Uh, lost power for about a half hour. And uh, rained like holy heck. And uh, <laughs> first time we lost power in quite a while. Probably last year, I think, was the last time. But, uh, got through it. Ready? 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 Uh, cooled it down pretty good now. Now it's in the low 80s right now, so, uh, it actually feels good. Doesn't even feel very humid out here right now. Nice breeze blowing. So, uh, yeah, nice, beautiful. I haven't been doing my walks. Uh, at least not with the, my doggy. And I haven't been doing them myself either, which I should be. Uh, his collar broke, not his collar, his, uh, oh, what do you call it, uh, his harness. I have to walk him with a harness because he likes to pull and uh, if he just has his collar hooked up, he'll uh, choke on it. So I get him one of those no choke harnesses and uh, he's usually pretty good with that. So. Uh, yeah, his broke, so I had to order a new one, and uh, just shipped, so uh, it's been like a week now, so hopefully I'll get it within the next few days, so uh, I can start taking him back out, and me. I stepped on the scale this afternoon, in fact just a few minutes ago, and didn't like what I saw. Not quite three bills, but I'm getting close to it. 98, uh, yeah, 98, I wish. 298.5. So, I haven't been eating the healthiest and coupled that with not getting any walks in the last week or so. Not a good combination. And, uh, I knew I was gaining weight because my pants are getting tighter. Shorts, I should say pants too when I go on the bike, but uh, I need to get better, and uh, you know, it's been hard, still, uh, I'll always be dealing with depression, but uh, I think I mentioned before, a lot of the ways I deal with it is uh, by eating, and by eating I mean not the uh, healthiest things and uh, a lot of comfort foods sweets that I shouldn't be doesn't help my diabetes doesn't help me in general doesn't help my weight here's a swan beautiful big bird I love swans. I love all the birds that are around here. And, uh, I just love this area, period. And I should be doing, getting out and doing more to enjoy it. And, uh,
Okay, how's it going? Yeah, just had a big crowd of people coming by, so. But yeah, uh, I gotta do uh, better. Don't we all? <laughs> but uh, seriously, though, I do have to get better, especially at the walking and, you know, eating better. Uh, my blood sugars are still way out of control. I've, uh, I got a couple of new supplements that I'm trying out. They seem to be working all right. I mean, I haven't noticed a big drop in uh, blood sugar, but I've noticed a little bit of a drop. So uh, that's always good. I'm just collecting my mail here. This is our mail hole here. Yeah, I got some mail here today. Looks like mostly junk, as usual. But, uh, we'll see. Give you a little tour of our mail facility here. That's the pool over there, so this is where we gotta go every day to get our mail. Yeah, it's not bad, even when it's, uh, even if it's raining or anything, uh, I just uh, take the car over. Or usually around here, I can just wait for it to stop. <laughs> That's usually how it works. <laughs> so, uh, like you can tell, there's still a couple of big puddles around. Well, these might be from the sprinklers, because uh, this is definitely from the sprinklers here. But uh, yeah, most of the rain, wa uh, the water we got from the rain is all dried up, because all the streets and everything are dry. It doesn't take long. They get a big storm coming through. It doesn't take long to dry out. It's, uh, pretty fun. Normally, I, I kind of slept a little, slept in a little bit late, even for me, uh, because of that thunderstorm with the power loss. Uh, I gotta get a picture of this. To get a picture of this. Nice rainbow. Popo just drove by. Hope they weren't looking for me. <laughs> I guess not because it didn't stop. I guess if they were looking for me, they would have stopped. Maybe I should hide. I don't know might turn around and come back, but I didn't do it. I'm innocent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just can't say nice it, say enough about how nice it is out here right now. I mean, this is like, go out on my back porch tonight, tonight. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been this, uh, don't really say cool, but cooler and drier, probably since it's winter. I mean, it's, uh, it's that nice out. And, uh, 
beautiful. And, uh, so yeah, the election's coming up. We got a primary election. It's uh, mostly all local stuff. The thing that's confusing is the judges because uh, they got all these judges up on the ballot, but uh, it doesn't go by Democrat, Republican. It's just uh, we're not a nonpartisan thing, so usually I know who to vote for because it would say Republican and it's uh, tough and you don't know anybody and you don't know who these people are and you don't know who these people are so you don't know who to vote for and uh, you know usually like with some of them that are Republican, like if you have two Republicans, you can look up online and see what their stances are on stuff, and uh, you would know that way, but uh, they don't really have any information online on people that are running for judges, which uh, isn't too handy. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, a judge is uh, probably one of the most important positions besides, you know, Congress and legislature and stuff, because, uh, you know, these are the people that, you know, we got to count on to uh, put criminals behind bars and get a Democrat in there that lets all these rioters on the street and releases murderers and whatever and rapists and stuff and releases child molesters and uh, then you know you don't want to elect somebody like that obviously so but not knowing who these people are and not being able to find out anything online about them it's tough and uh, so I have to do some more research. There's also one race. I can't think of what it's not. It's not one of the main races. It's uh, it's uh, I don't know. I want to say like a county board or something like that. That. Uh, Going gator hunting, but it's like a county board or something. At uh, there's only two Democrats on the ballot, and I'm like, obviously, I get a Republican ballot, so it's uh, crazy. And. Uh, so there's, I think there's two women, and uh, I just uh, use my own way of figuring out how to vote for <laughs> the two Democrats who have pretty much the same view on stuff from what I saw. See something over there. I don't know if it's a gator or not. I don't know if I dare go, go over there. Because they gotta walk through the grass. And they don't want to get snakes.
got to look down because uh, this is snake territory. So anyway, I look at the uh, two women that are running for that Democrat only position and uh, I just went with the uh, better looking of the two. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible way to vote, but uh, what do you want when there's two Democrats? Actually, I, I can't say I voted. That's, uh, I haven't voted yet. So that's who I intend to vote for when I do vote. Sun's going down. I don't want to be over here when it's dark and I can't see anything. Oh, that looked like that looked like a deer over there. It's gone now, but still don't know what that thing is over there. It doesn't look like it's moving though, so I don't think it's a gator. It's my house way over there. This is pretty soon this will all be houses back here. Yeah, it's not moving, so that's not a gator. What I was looking at over there was either a deer or maybe some cows that are still back there. Cows used to be out in this field. When I first moved down here, this was all, well, it's still open field, but the field all had cows in it, so kind of sad. I'd rather have the cows than the houses, but uh, oh well. So it looks like no gators here today. Which doesn't surprise me because, well, there was no gators here the last time I came here. <coughs> Just don't want to see a water moccasin. <laughs> They're around too because there's a down Probably in that direction. Let's see where. Yeah, probably down in that direction. Maybe down toward where the sun just set. There's other uh, 
other housing developments and uh, all built by the same builder that is building these. Oh, that was a lightning flash. That was fun. <laughs> Somebody's been drinking here. Maybe these contractors are having a liquid lunch. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. But, uh, Rainbow's still holding strong. Well, anyway. Looks like topsoil here. I'm sure they're gonna be putting this down. Uh, oh, excuse me. They make a base for building houses. They got the roads partially paved. Got the drainage ditches in. I'd say this would be a good place to bring my motorcycle, but I don't know. It's still kind of rough, the road right now. It's probably doable though. be good and as far as there's nobody around I and mean, especially once the uh, contractors go home think about this time of night it's great to take the bike practice some uh, slow uh, slow speed maneuvers Maybe some emergency braking. A good place. It wouldn't bother many people if, if anybody. I mean, if I'm over here, I don't think those houses over there would have any trouble. Eric, okay, I could uh, run this like a race course <laughs> probably could if the uh, road was a little uh, smoother maybe once they put the uh, second layer of blacktop in but by then they'll probably be building up here so oh by the way that's the school Looks like the uh, rainbow is uh, coming to an end. to worry about dishes.
above it. There's a tall cloud over there. Some more off that way. That's going to be a side there, another street. We run running parallel to that uh, pond. Hi. Tractors might be drinking beer. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's nice. Obviously it looks like they're gonna put another road in here that way. It'll be interesting. It's a little bumpy. At least get down here before they start building, because once they start building houses, then it'll be kind of busy down here. Bob's Barricades. Yeah, let's see about that. If I grab them and put them in my house, it'll be Daryl's Barricades. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Oh yeah, let me show you this. So now, I'm having all kinds of problems with this. coming undone here and uh, I'm not sure what to do with that the wind blows and it uh, like that and it uh, there's the bike let's not run into the bike <laughs> finish this up out here. They just came and mowed my lawn today. Oh yeah, sprinklers are on. Probably didn't need them on today because it rained, but... Yeah, it's not too late. My uh, water bill this month was astronomically high I mean like usually it runs uh, right around 120 one, between 120 and 150 I would say is what it usually runs uh, last month it probably should have clued me in that this month would be high last month it was only something like $89 uh, this month is uh 
was like 230 or something like that. And I was like, holy cow. I did uh, have to run the sprinklers uh, more than normal last month. But uh, just checking my AC drain. It's draining. Pretty good yourself. These like palm trees. Need to clean that out. But anyway, oh yeah, this has been going on too long. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I uh, figured I'd make a long one today. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great night. God bless you, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!